Well, I was just saying before this began that um, that uh, the purpose of the interview is to provide some assistance to who was optimistic or foolish enough to hope that I could contribute something to the work that you and she have been mm -hmm. have been doing and doing now for how a year five or two years. five years five long time right? mm -hmm. five years yes and. Um, So that it's not, you're not newfound friends, no? Mm -hmm. No, it's been mm -hmm. five Unlike years. the, yours truly, hmm? Mm -hmm. She has been very helpful. Mm -hmm. But I am uh, still a depressed person. Well, I guess that's one of the reasons that I'm sitting here. How can we make that? less true or not true at all. I have no idea. I think you have to have the desire to want to live, and if uh, you don't have that, you just stay depressed. That's right. That's right. All through here, I am Those things trying to engage her, to find her. Not uh, caring to live. Mm -hmm. And this, this means deepening the awareness of her painful experience. And there may not be anything more in your life now than there was five years ago. Maybe less in your life to live mm -hmm. more. This is true. called this going below. Some of the good things may have gone. That's true too. Children are getting older, moving along. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're, they're doing fine. That's what I wanted for them. Mm -hmm. One's married, just became a mother. Mm -hmm. The younger one's going to be married. Mm -hmm. It's what I wanted for them, mm -hmm. to be taken care of and take care of themselves and make their own lives. Mm -hmm. Where does that leave you? <sighs> the danger... Mainly, I think what keeps me going is them. Mm -hmm. The danger here, as I see it, is, is to reach for reassurance yeah, rather than for I her really despair. To reach reassurance would be to separate the of them and the therapist and the patient. Wouldn't do it. I called Jan and she talked to me and mm -hmm. helped me and I just keep pushing myself. Yeah, I'll now proceed they don't to... need their mother the way they once did, I guess, yeah? Yeah, I'm now starting to no, review her I life that's what I wanted for, them. for its that's aspects of hopelessness. Mm -hmm. So where are you supposed to find meaning in your life now? I don't know. No, if you knew the answer to that question, you wouldn't, wouldn't be sitting be here. here, right? No. You mm -hmm. wouldn't be sitting here. These are, these no, are rhetorical questions. They're not uh, interrogatory questions. That is, they don't expect an answer from her, but more from, from me. Nor is it a new thing. It may go back more than five years to maybe 10, 15, 20. Oh my God. I've been on drugs for 24 years prior than mm -hmm. that. I uh, stopped taking drugs five years ago. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to uh, cope with life ever since. Notice how the therapist is now looking over her Sometimes shoulder. Seem to, hmm? to do all right. Almost like an internal, internal mental I agency. Just pushing and trying too hard, and I just got tired of doing all that. Mm -hmm. Soon he'll soon find himself in competition with her super ego. So there's an appropriate spot for him to be up there in the top right hand corner. Jane Kaufman may not know what to do either. Hmm? See another source of That's despair. True. Another. Trouble. Does she? Does she uh, want you to live? Yes. She does. does. I had that impression too. Yes, she does more than I do. I guess more than you do. Right? Yes. So that then that isn't a source of help, is it? It becomes so an imprisonment. An imprisonment. Alive, partly to not to upset her, right? 
No, I think it's mainly my children. Mm -hmm. I couldn't leave them with the hurt, like having their mother commit suicide. There's I'd still another source of imprisonment. Death, One can't even escape this different. life. Mm -hmm. But a suicide death is kind of rough to leave on your children. Mm -hmm. They so often feel to blame that they haven't done something. Well, I don't Although know. Although that's not the case here, able. is it? No. no. It's really the other way around, isn't it? They've made your life as worth living as it's been, right? Mm -hmm. So that if you were to leave, you could say to them, you gave me whatever I had that was good. Right? Well, they have. They were everything I wanted them to be. Mm -hmm. The two uh, beautiful children. See, the therapist is know. implying mm -hmm. here that she shouldn't That's stay alive for them. It oh, has to be for something of lucky. her own very to fortunate. stay alive for them. Is this imprisonment? But that doesn't mean that you feel beautiful inside, does it? No, I don't. See, yeah, it wouldn't be possible to describe how you feel inside. See, here, no destruct. To feel beautiful, to feel lovable, oh, no. in such contrast. Empty, and now this will be the theme of what follows. How so one, how one becomes lovable. Useless. Useless, too. Hopeless. Hopeless. Bad, maybe? Now, having found her a little, Bad she's cataloged, isn't she, of all this inner garbage. So on that list, you're not much good at all, are you? Useless, hopeless, bad. Are there those who agree with you about that? People that say that about you? No. No. There are even friends who disagree with that? Well, I don't really go around to my friends and tell them how I feel. I've told Jean. Mm -hmm. I know my friends wouldn't agree with my feelings. They wouldn't. They wouldn't buy that picture of you. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. In fact, they might say different things. Mm -hmm. But that probably doesn't affect what you feel about. No, not only does it not affect what you, but it, it separates her all. from people, doesn't it? It self separates her. Or it leaves her more alone that no one can know how she feels. I wonder what they're whispering about. I suppose they're whispering about us. One likely. No, I don't think so. They're probably no. whispering about their machinery. They no, I know it. They, uh, they care more about their machinery. Than I know that. About us. <laughs> See, so that the I'm not this that act, paranoid. This I act. I have thought for a moment <laughs> you were that paranoid. I might be that paranoid. <laughs> you wouldn't probably be. So you notice that the machinery, the interests of other people yeah, there, their machinery is a parallel to the way her friends don't really understand her either. They're more interested in their yeah. hopes for her, and not how she felt. So we have a little play within the play. I don't know. I, um, I don't know how helpful I am to you, because I don't talk too much. Oh, I had no complaint. I was very appreciative that you put up with these circumstances in the first place. And then I'm also appreciative that you're willing to share what is a, obviously an awful feelings, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it is. It's to share them, to let other people know. It's, a, it's not my style. I'm usually a very private person. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised I'm doing as well as I am. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have a little ham in me. I hope so. hope so. Because despite what you think about you, say you think about yourself, there may be some wonderful things to, to show the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Certainly what you say about the children suggests that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they are special. So here the positive note is struck they are in. They special. Begin to search for something amid the garbage. Hmm? It's special in that mm -hmm. they don't hurt other people and they're mm -hmm. good to other people and mm -hmm. the way it should be. Mm -hmm. That's not the way you feel about yourself, is it? 
No, I feel differently. You feel like you have hurt other people, don't you? No, I feel I've hurt myself. Hurt yourself? I uh, try not to hurt other people either. Mm -hmm. But you felt like you deserved to hurt yourself, right? Mm -hmm. But you should be punished. Hmm? Well, I don't think I've been very good being a drug addict and all the other things. And but you've been this bad person that I mentioned. Hmm? Yeah, but I you have, have sinned. Hmm? Yeah, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Just as the danger in the first part of the interview was to be reassuring, now the danger is to collude with her superego, as the metapsychologist Other would say. Too, give you this feeling about yourself, right? That seems so different than what other people sense about you. One has to acknowledge what she feels. One has to almost caricature it. You may mm -hmm. live with much more bitterness than you. Let on, do you? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not bitter. No, I say you, you don't seem bitter at all, but I wonder if you don't live with inside, no? Because you've had some hard, very hard knocks oh, yeah. at times, right? At times I think life's been unfair to me. Right. But then I think other people probably went through worse. Well, there may be other people have, but it may have been bad enough, right? Mm -hmm. But when you talk to me now, you, you talk with more with sweetness than bitterness. Maybe bitterness toward yourself, but not toward the world. Right? So you get the lovable no, note, sweetness. Toward world, no. Probably toward some people, but but even then, I try not to. I try not to allow hate into mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. Except in one place. Towards myself, I know. No. You make an exception there, don't you? Yeah, I just can't pass that block. I guess. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that of the people that you've known, you may be one of the finest. Hmm? Well, I wouldn't oh, say yeah, that. See, you wouldn't say that. You know, the, mm -hmm. you know, the metapsychologists can see what's afoot, you can't they? That, the, that, you stood up that there's well an attempt here to replace this malicious superego by a no. benign ego ideal. How about that? Hmm? I consider myself a loser. A loser? Mm hmm. Huh. How do you mean, loser? I just can't get out of my depression, my thoughts. I see. Oh, you blame yourself for that. Mm hmm See that somehow you should be able to throw off this mood. And yes, I should think so. Mm -hmm. So that part of the depression is really a feeling of being to blame for it, to being sort of at fault because of it. That it's sort of your, your, another one of your crimes. Mm -hmm. See the complicated game the superego plays. Not only does it make an accusation, but then it makes an accusation against its accusation. Round and round, Do sort of spiraling down. Well, like I said, I don't go around hurting people. Mm -hmm. I try to help people if I can, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of people like that. Not so many as yet, as one thinks, though, right? Hmm. Not so many good people, really. No, there's a lot of good people. That has been your experience? No, I mean, there are a lot of people, good people in the world I'm mm -hmm. talking about. Mm -hmm.
in the search for a real view of life, to distribute mm -hmm. the blame a little more evenly than she does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. feel that you failed at that, at that task of being good, right? Well, I'm not good. Maybe even as a little girl you felt that way, did you? Yeah. That you wanted to be good, but that somehow it didn't work out that way? Well, I was kind of uh, shut out and shut up when I was being raised, so... And the way I was being raised, I made sure I didn't raise my kids. Mm -hmm. The way I was being raised, I made sure I didn't raise my children. Mm -hmm. You learned a, a very bitter lesson by that. Mm -hmm. Note, notice in this, the depression from the point of view of the patient well, the of is a failure to be questions. good. Mm -hmm. I should be able to bury the past. One should be able to bury the past? Oh, I hope you'll tell me how to do that. Psychiatrists should know, shouldn't they? <laughs> but they knew everything. Oh, God, what we don't know. What we don't know. I know. Mm. See, now the therapist is the beginning something he'll You've do a little more. His responsibility, therapy. his failure. Say goodbye right? to him forever. No, oh, a, yeah. It'd be like yeah. lifting a mountain off your back a bit. His failure. And he shares, he shares the failure to be as good as he'd like How to be. And that's getting with this Imagine other thing in her. Bitterness, disappointments, horrors, horrors too, right? In the past. Mm. Now we make well, you a little... Know what the, you know what the shrinks say. We've heard all that, I'm sure, a thousand times, right? You're supposed to talk about it. Oh my God, you're supposed to tell you're supposed to talk about it. It doesn't make everything go away. Sure, it doesn't. Sometimes it makes it seem to come back. Right? <laughs> Brings it all back. One of the reasons it's so hard to do it, right? Right. Brings it all back. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to talk about the horrors, and then they're supposed to go away, and yet they don't go away, do they? Often they don't. Mm -hmm. See, we're taking a move, making movement here. Saying, I think, maybe tell me if I'm all wet, is it like, the horror is all there is to you. And you're the sort of walking horror, right? You're the accumulation of all that experience, the mistakes, the bad things that happened, right? Mm -hmm. And that's all there is to you. Wow. As if there wasn't anybody else. See, there's a kind of midpoint here. Misery, I guess. Depression is also misery. We've been finding her, engaging her. What we find is this garbage, man. Now this is brought up into some perspective. Is this all there is to her? The question is being asked. So we're going from finding to, you know, to forgetting and forgiving now. And maybe even, to remember, I spent a lot of years on drugs. Maybe even if we're lucky to some kind of loving. You know? Finding, forgetting, forgiving, maybe loving oneself. Hmm. Can't remember the real me. Where is the real me? Was it lost? I think so. Me. Can it ever be found again? Mm -hmm. Now that becomes the quest, doesn't it? That becomes the theme of hopefully the future again. psychotherapy too. You're yeah. certainly not feeling very cheerful about uh, that, are you? Boy. Reconstruction, and restoration, if you like, of a cell. Because mm -hmm. you're not sweet 16 anymore, right? It's not like you're easy to start over now. Mm -hmm. Well, because I was so miserable, I went to drugs. Mm -hmm. And I stayed on. So yeah, that's one of the ago. things you blame yourself for, right? As, well, if, it, as if it was something you chose. Mm. As if it was a fault. Mm. Well, <clears throat> not everybody takes drugs, so you have to be kind of weak, I think, to take drugs. You have to be weak. At least I was. You were weak. See, so here you are. I'm crimes. avoiding, again, collusion with the superego. Instead, I caricature a little this idea. I am weak. Hmm. That wasn't the worst 
that's how you know it in terms of, the, of your crimes. Mm. You got a list of them a yard long, I'm sure. Mm. Mm. Going back now, going back over the garbage. Mm. So not only would you have the job of, of forgiving yourself, right? Mm -hmm. But you also have this job we talked about of forgetting the past, mm -hmm. the miseries. Mm -hmm. Right. And is there enough energy left mm -hmm. in you to do those things? God. How? Mm -hmm. And if there were, of course, if, then there'd be another person in there, a person who wasn't garbage, when it, that person who's the object of all this work to create. Hmm. To, to build up a new person and to say goodbye to at least part of the horrors. Hmm. Well, I had five years to do it and I couldn't do it. And they couldn't do it? I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? Oh, I see. You didn't, you didn't put it down to the great psychiatric profession, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, you warned me about that. You said you didn't like to blame other people, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the final theme of the interview. You know, beyond loving oneself. Now, the whole issue of responsibility. Very She's mm -hmm. very good. She mm -hmm. helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. But if you're depressed, you're depressed. You just can't get out of it, no matter what. This too is a failing of yours, right? A weakness of yours. Mm -hmm. See, in this last, that sort of coda to the piece, right? I'm going to take responsibility. I'm tired of pushing. Tired of pushing? Mm-hmm. See, otherwise you fall victim to her responsibility disease, her need to take responsibility, her, her superego intransigence. So I have to shift against that. And too much of our work makes the patient too responsible plays into this relentless yeah, self-accusation. Mm -hmm. oh, I can reach the other side. I mean, little enough joy in your life without depriving you of that, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. I suspect the interview now is largely over and that she's taking a break, you know, that the thing has been done. And Maybe she's a little relieved and yeah, enjoy what? herself. I hope so. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. No, you don't. And if you knew, you would have already done it, right? Right. You wouldn't. You're not enjoying your state of mind. You would have already That's done right. it, wouldn't you? If there was an answer, if I knew what to do, if uh, somebody told me what to do and I didn't and worked. Yeah. You'd do it. You'd work I at it, it the way you worked with the children and all the other things, right? So it looks like it's up to us. Here we go. How Here about we go that? Now. that? That'll give you no feeling of security, knowing <laughs> that you're in these hands. Gosh. Yeah, you seem like a very kind person. Well, we'll see what, how much difference that makes. You, if, if it were true, I hope it is, but if it were true. Yeah, yeah it sounds like it's, it sounds, if I read it right, I, it sounds like it's up to us. Oh, I you think it's worked a lost it, cause. You worked it hard, and Jan's worked it hard, and we have to think of something else. Jan's worked hard. Mm -hmm. she, seems, think how she, seems, she seems very fond of you. And she's a very nice person. Nice person, right? But notice how you say, well, you didn't work as hard as she did, maybe. It was always your fault, but not hers. Mm -hmm. well, that's true. I think she. I imagine there's plenty of times I. Must have been an aggravator to her. Aggravator? Let me see. And she just as soon got rid of you or something, is that it? Huh? Dispose of you? Mm -hmm. No, I know she doesn't feel that way. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't have that impression that she thought that way. No, I don't. I don't either. Sometimes I feel like I'm a burden to her. A burden? that I can't get myself going because she's mm -hmm. put a lot of time and energy into me. 
She has. See how the treatment defeats the treatment. Huh? Well, she she may actually mm -hmm. be fond of you, you know? And quite apart from any professional thing that she's supposed to be doing, right? Mm -hmm. no, I think it's, I mean, she's a friend, but mm -hmm. she's also a therapist. So. Yeah. One mm -hmm. of those things are hard to separate often. No, yeah. well, she has showed me that she cares. Mm -hmm. That she cares. Well, it looks like the ball is in my court. Mm. And what do you, what are your plans? Ah, so plans? she's able to ask. Good, good. Mm -hmm. The question of the moment, anyway, because you're discouraged about it. And she, I don't think she's discouraged, but she felt that, that she wanted some help, right? And she didn't want to lose you. And uh, she knew how desperate you felt, right? How un... Un, what, you know, un in love with life you were at the moment anyway, right? And she wanted to do something, so she asked me if I could suggest something. Yeah. So I would think that the ball was sort of in my court. Then. Yeah. But I think it's a lost cause. You don't think I got a chance? No. Well, that's uh, stimulating. It makes it makes me challenged, right? Mm -hmm. But you think I'm barking up the wrong tree, or whatever the expression Bang is? Banging my head against a stone wall. Banging my head against a stone wall. I see. I wouldn't have thought of you as a stone wall. Mm -hmm. Would you? You don't think stone wall? I wouldn't say. No. I think lots of courage and stick to itiveness and kindness, but I wouldn't have thought of you as a stone mm. wall. Mm. So this well, theme of the of possibility of success mm. in the treatment. Don't burst out crying. I don't get real angry. Well, it becomes an occasion to re-examine her, doesn't it? Who is she? What is she, a stone yeah, wall? Is she good, bad, courageous? Right? Lots of things. Mm -hmm. You needed to control. Mm -hmm. Well, you learned to do something real well as you're growing up. In fact, the stone wall will prove to be somewhere yeah. else. Mm -hmm. So I'm a perfectionist at it. You're a perfectionist at it. I think I am. Oh, you probably needed to be. Because I think what you had to face was very formidable. I mean, you must have felt like you were throwing yourself at a stone wall often, right? Oh, life, yeah. life probably seemed like a terrible stone wall a lot of the time, no? She, she's saying here that the therapist will have to face in life what she faced. Hmm. And one of the things that you didn't give way to, which impresses me so much, can, is you didn't give way to bitterness. Can he or she do better? Hmm. There's a challenge there, isn't it? Kind of right? moral challenge almost. That hmm. may have been why you took the drugs, to try to keep going. Wow, they gave you that feeling of being able to cope. Yeah, that's right. They were, they were your own treatment, right? Yeah, I used to call them my happy pills. Your happy pills. And God knows you needed them, right? Because you were up against real stone walls, right? See, again, now revisiting that garbage, we put it in a different wall. context. Then I we should do. ask you about your stone walls. Hmm? Again, avoiding colluding with the superego. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't think of you as a stone wall. Well, you don't know me that well. Oh, that's true. That's right. That's it. But you think I should be more discouraged than I seem. Mm -hmm. See, the discouragement, I mean, her discouragement now confronts the I possibility just, just of my like discouragement. Hmm? Anyone or anything can help me. Mm -hmm. That it's all over now. Mm -hmm. well, I'm not going to go out and kill myself if that's what you think it. Well, I hope you, I hope you don't. But no. If life is so miserable, it certainly must be a temptation. See, we, we want now to make it suicide is. permissible. Children. So a person feels yeah. better having the, knowing the door is there to take if necessary. We, Hoping that she doesn't. Them. But not again to feel so imprisoned. Well, I admire you for that. Oh, At the same time, to me for I don't have to. No, indeed I don't. No, I don't have to, do I? I think any mother, <clears throat> excuse me, any mother would do the same. No, I'm afraid you're not right about that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, 
I'm afraid you're not right about that. I wish you were. Nietzsche said once that but he got through many a bad night with the thought of suicide. Hmm? And your own self to live with. This person that you describe so negatively. Hmm. Yeah, and that's a part I don't like. That's the part you don't like. Well, who would like it, right? Nobody in their right mind would like feeling that way about themselves, would they? Mm -hmm. Working over oh, the old ground not. now. Familiar ground. So really, now. what this stone mm -hmm. wall is, is is changing how you feel about yourself, isn't it? So that you look with some kind of pleasure or even excitement on yourself. Mm -hmm. It's back to the yeah, that seemed like the ultimate thing. theme, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. loving oneself. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. No one gets there. Could we, could we help you to love yourself? Mm. You wouldn't be very cheerful about that, would you? I just don't think it's possible. Nice end point for the work, would a nice way of knowing I want it done when she Tad came to love herself. an old dog, no tricks. I see. You're an old dog now, is that it? Among your other sins, you're an old dog. No, not really. I just... No, I know the expression. expression and... mm -hmm. But it would be a new trick, you're saying, to love yourself. Mm -hmm. I, uh, myself and life and... Mm -hmm. oh my God, she even I says it. Think of that. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be something. Well, at least it gives us a nice thing to work for, doesn't it? Nice. It would be a nice way of knowing how successful we were. Wouldn't it? But you told me not to be optimistic about that. Not to think that that was really possible. It's not because I know where it is. You say it's not possible. She hesitated. She, she, maybe she thought it might for a moment be possible, do you think? Well, I sure hope you're wrong. That's the most one can say. I hope you're wrong, right? One keeps working at it. I sure hope you're wrong. But you were polite enough not to ask me what I suggested. Hmm? You were kind enough to me not to expose me by asking me what I would suggest to make this difference, right? Or else you had too much experience with psychiatry to... No. <laughs> no. Not really. No? Mm -hmm. My mother was in a mental institution, but mm -hmm. I read a lot of books, but I'm sure I didn't know what I was reading about. Well, some of the books, no one knows what they're talking about in them. <laughs> Yeah, how are we going to bring about your loving yourself? I mean, feeling about you, for example, the way those children may feel, right? Maybe even the way that grandchild feels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little models, little models of something different. Yeah. May I ask what the name of the grandchild is? Christine Marie. Christine Marie? Christine Marie. Christine Marie. K R I S T A. Names are always important, aren't they? You should be used very delicately. One shouldn't be too eager to call the patient by their name, for example. It's a special thing, you know, special, yeah, private. Yeah, do that. Hmm. That wasn't a question to you, because that's our question to ourselves, isn't it? That's what I've got to figure out to tell Jan Kaufman. Just as straightforward as that, well, this is what we have to do so that this lady has something to live for. Hmm. Reprogram me, maybe? Reprogram me, right? Something like that, I guess. Well, I'm afraid that would be to put a fancier name on it than we've got. <laughs> so that she could feel about herself the way some of the, some of the others feel. Hmm. Well, I guess I'd better get to work and go home and do my homework and get ready to tell her. Well, okay. I'm sure you don't mind if I do tell her, whatever it is. Not at all. 
Well, thank you for subjecting yourself to this. And thank you. Thank you for being so kind. Well, thank you for the chance to meet you. I hope I can think of something useful. I'll sure work on it. Thank you. Nice to see you. Good to meet you.